The largest budget to be passed in Tulsa's history goes into effect at midnight. City leaders say the Fix Our Streets bond package passed back in 2008 is the reason they're spending so much money. Two News reporter Beth Hawkins joins us live in Midtown Tulsa with construction project updates. Beth. Russ, this project on Lewis involves getting rid of those potholes and replacing them with better water lines and a smooth street. There are more similar projects on the horizon as the city plans to improve more than 300 lane miles of roadway. If there's anyone who knows about bumps on Tulsa roadways, it's Johnny McClanahan. He rides along the old Restless Ribbon, otherwise known as Peoria Avenue, every day. When you hit something on two wheels versus four wheels, it's, it's rough. To say he's seen his share of potholes just outside his Harley-Davidson store would be an understatement. It can cause a flat on your motorcycle. It can bend the rim of the wheel. But he's glad to know the city is working to address that. Orange is going to be blooming. City leaders say Fix Our Streets bond money is rolling in. This fiscal year, they have about 50 construction projects planned. Half of those will be in neighborhoods, the other half on arterial streets. We're sitting around right now in design, and what's already been constructed and completed, about 60% of the Fix Our Streets program as it is. So um, there's a lot of money coming in fiscal years 13 and 14. It's investing in T-Town and making getting around easier on 18 wheels, or two wheels. This driver says he hopes the plans travel his way. Be totally better for our business. We would love to have Peoria fixed. And city leaders will grant that wish. We're told that Peoria will get some much needed attention after the I-44 expansion project is complete, probably in 2014. By the way, the city is putting $150 million into our streets this fiscal year. Reporting live in Midtown Tulsa, Beth Hawkins, 2 News Works for You.